Hello YouTube, this is Patrick Conius here, and I am bringing you another Wi-Fi doubles battle. So, it's been a while, so we're just going to send it. Let's take a look at the team here. Aerodactyl, Kangaskhan, Venusaur, Clefable, uh, Electrode, always get them mixed up, and Polyrath. So, a few mega possibilities here in the first three. Um, Muck will do some work. Doug Trio is going to do some work. Charizard is going to just do Charizard. Uh, so I feel like the promise for Charizard is half the team. Mm, I'm going to lead the Starmie, Doug Trio. Uh, we know a Rock Slide Scald will take it out. And then hopefully I can bring in. Uh, Laura and Liz. They're basically uh, the support mons for Spitfire and then Muck. Because Muck's awesome. Battle Master sends out the Kang Aerodactyl. So we'll be getting a fake out. Don't like fake outs. Don't need the extra chip damage. So we're just gonna protect. Um, he could go for Stealth Rocks. I don't know, I'm not feeling Stealth Rocks from this Aerodactyl, from the team composition, but I could be wrong. Revealing Mega Arrow, which is a big, big problem. So the Fake Out into the Starmie and the Earthquake. Okay, so um, toss up if Doug Trio wins or uh, lives or not. Extra damage on the Kangs, not too bad. Uh, Starmie should live the Sucker Punch. So I feel like it's safe all around. Um, Part of me wants a Thunder Wave. I'm actually going to Thunder Wave the Aerodactyl instead of Scalding in case this play doesn't work. So it does a switch. Good switch. Right into Nothing Land. Oh yeah, Doug Trio would have not lived the Mega Aerodactyl the Earthquake. Um, I still, I still need Doug Trio a little bit, but not as much as I think. So I'm gonna keep fishing for some flinches. Oh, getting outplayed today. Got outplayed. <clears throat> so bringing in the Charizard now. I am going to go straight for the Mega. Um, I got to make some smart moves here. So, we need to play a little game of catch up. We still got that Air Dactyl in the back. Not looking forward to it at all. Do have Ice Punch on to our um, Muck, so might be able to. Okay, so now we're 1-1. One, one. We've tied up the HP game, but we'll see. So 
So Mega Aerodactyl, such a great Pokemon in this. Uh, we do got the most likely helping hand, Clefable, because that's what I run. Uh, so I am going to try to get a Thunder Wave off. I need to get this Thunder Wave off. So, and a Protect. I'm just hoping for a Rock Slide miss or something on this Starmie. Oh. Wow. Lucky. I'll take it. I'll take it. He missed the first Thunder Wave. Moonblast. Okay. There's no rocks up. And I don't want Charizard to take any unneeded damage. It already just protected. So I'm actually going to hard switch right into uh, my muck. So um, lost board control. Had some digging. Uh, little luck there, little moves. Looks like I've retaken, oh, that's why I crickle it. Board control, his mega's gone now. Big boomer, let's go. Um, blah, 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 blah. I, there's no one in the back, so I'm gonna actually use psychic and uh, poison jab. Being a little quiet here. Those first little turns, first little maneuvers really got me. Uh, paralyzing the muck. Or thunderbolting the muck. I don't know why you didn't go for the star me, but this guy's got moves. Muck can't move. Not helping me, buddy. You know what, I'm okay with getting a fresh, uh, a fresh turn. Let's do it, let's see. Muck's probably going down. Yeah, you knew you could take Starmie out next turn, no problem, so. <clears throat> this guy can play. So this time we're gonna actually bring out Liz. Or our Kangaskhan and our Charizard. I'm kind of gonna avoid the Clefairy because uh, uh, Thunderbolts scare Charizard. Uh, so luckily I do have Fake Out. So I'm gonna Fake Out. Late game Fake Out. And then just dot hit oh, has heat wave. So much special attack. Well, it's still not enough to even, well, you know, scratch the thunder wave. Ooh, scratch the Clefable there. All oh, right. So now Charizard Y is slower. Uh, we'll see if that's an issue or not believe the last one's a Venusaur. It is a Venusaur. I do have a Clefable in the back that does no Ice Beam. So that would, uh, but Poison Jab. So we are gonna have to target the Venusaur because our, our last guy is weak. So if you're in my position, uh, I'm down to three guys, he's down to two. But my one guy in the back, if I do lose one, is really weak to one of their guys. We're going to start double targeting down that Venusaur. So a misplay could have been for me is if I start hitting the Clefable. Because those Sludge Bombs, right? Because so I was like, oh, Clefable and those Thunder Wave. But if I, yeah, that's okay though. I'd rather them target my Charizard and I can whittle down this Venusaur because, like again, Clefable will die to a Venusaur Sludge Bomb. Got 
gotta be thinking about your next move. Charizard's just taking it though. Huge specialty. He's got a special debuff too when he megas, so not surprised. Hits. We sealed it up. That was a close one at the start, I'll tell you. I seen a Mega Aerodactyl is never fun to deal with. So anyone that runs Mega Aerodactyl, you terrify me every time. And just saw a heat wave. Battle was canceled. That was a really good game. I enjoyed it. I got nervous. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed